Alright everyone Maharib is here and Emily's kit is finally released, and it is as we already speculated. She is revolved around burning reaction. But before talking about her any further, let's talk about her design first. Because there are a lot of players who are not happy with her design, myself included, and I would like to let you guys know why this is the case. So make sure to leave a like, share and subscribe to this channel, and if you want to see her animations, make sure to join my Discord. It has all what you would need, I think. And with that out of the way, let's start the video. The reason why Emily's design is not much appreciated is because there were a lot of concept arts going around in the community, but Hoyo used none of that, and she turned out to be way different than those concept arts. Some players including me thought, maybe we will get a character like Tartaglia or Kazuha whose outfit doesn't have to be the same color as her element. So her design felt generic and uncreative for most players. But this is not the actual problem here. We know this is Hoyoverse we are talking about. So it's not their fault that you get disappointed, it's your fault for setting expectations in the first place. But the real problem is that she by no means looks original or different from other characters. And her design have a lot of similarities with different characters as well. Some people are saying she is the mother of Kave who went to Fontaine. Some say she stole Lisa's clothes, her hairstyle looked like Dory's ripoff, and things like that. To which, I agree to some extent, and I do feel disappointed when I first saw her drip marketing. But that doesn't mean she is not cute. I mean she is an anime girl. Why would you say she is not cute or beautiful when you yourself look like Sino, right? It's just that even if she turns out to be different, she should have a little better design philosophy. I cannot show her in game model here in the video. But since she has short hair, she only has a small piece of cloth hanging from her hat to emphasize the movement of her upper half. And it doesn't feel enough. If only she had longer hair, it could cover her upper back with beautiful hairstyle, and she could look so much better. And even more, there were players showing their creativity by basically changing her color palette and her hair. I think this same design with this color palette and long hair with some beautiful hairstyle could make her a lot more gorgeous than she already is. Now I know not everyone can get a hairstyle like Layla, who has the best hair in the entire game, but at least something could be done with that. Right now, it's not looking good. Now don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against short hair girls, I am just talking about character design standpoint. Like Chiori also have short hair, in a sense that her hair is not covering her back, but still the design looks good. Lamine also have short hair but have these two strips to emphasize momentum which I don't think is enough but it's still better than nothing. My point being, they look good from the back, Emily, not so much. Not to talk about her glasses. They could at least do something better with them, but these do not look good at all. Not even in her in-game model. Either remove them, or make them a little more stylish. But anyways, the point was not to straightly say she looks bad, or ugly or anything like that. Girls are always cute by default. At least according to my point of view unless they're not feminists, but it's just that this could be improved, and by a long shot. And since she has a girl model like Layla instead of a mommy model like Raiden or Lisa, this makes her even more likable for me. So I will definitely try to get her. I need a second Dendro character anyways, and out of all four 5-star Dendro characters, she alone is the beautiful one. So will she lose the beauty contest among the Dendro characters? Nah, she'd win. Also, her burst animation is one of the best in the game with beautiful flowers and all that. It feels refreshing and elegant at the same time. Enough to convince me to at least try my luck to pull for her. Wait, no. I am already guaranteed. I will get her. She will be mine. Okay, enough blabbering, now let's talk about her kit and abilities. She is a Dendro Polearm character. And the fact that I cannot show her normal attack sequence here is really sad, but I could just say, it's elegant, but not over the top which makes sense. She is a perfumer after all. And since she is not going to use it anyways, I have no complaints either. She is the type of character you will just swap in, use her skill, use her burst and swap out. So let's talk about her skill and her burst. Keep that in mind that this is very early beta information, so take it as a grain of salt. Though in my experience, although beta kits do change drastically, but the core ideology never changes. For example a character who is designed for burning reaction from the start can give more resistance to pyro down the road, or get her scalings nerfed or buffed, or constellations can be switched or improved etc but that character will still stay as a burning enabler. Just her execution would be a little different. With all that out of the way, her elemental skill creates a lamp that deals AoE dendro damage on set intervals. If nearby opponents are burning, they will give scents at intervals. The lamp will collect these nearby scents, and after gathering two of them, it will level up, firing one extra AoE dendro damage attack, and the damage dealt by such attacks will also be increased. Only one lamp can exist at a time. And the lamp starts at level 1 and can go up to level 2. In short, 
burning will allow this lamp to deal more damage. Plus, this lamp has whooping 22 seconds duration with the cooldown of only 14 seconds. I am 98% sure that won't be the case in finalized product. Hoyo is trolling with us again, but I really hope it would stay like that. Just a side note that she is Numa aligned that comes with her skill when the lamp deals damage and have interval of 10 seconds. Some more information I would like to share about her. The interval between each attack is 0.9 seconds give or take, like Raiden Shogun. Level 1 Dendro attacks don't have very big AoE, and Level 2 has slightly bigger AoE and deals more damage as well. Lamp can reach Level 2 only by Burning Reaction. But even without Burning she has decent Dendro application to justify playing outside of Burning, though most of her kit won't be much valuable in this way, but she will still be better than Dendro MC, or Kali, or Karara, or Kave for that matter and will be similar in Dendro application to Yao Yao if her radishes don't hit you for healing. Just like if you use Nilo in a Vaporize team. She can work, but she is not made for that kind of scenario. Though because she has a steady supply of Dendro application with her skill off-field with permanent uptime, this is crazy overpowered. No one says no to off-field Dendro application even if the character do nothing else. Dendro is cracked after all. Anyways, let's talk about her burst. It's quite straightforward actually. This is an attack like Ayato's Elemental Burst. It creates a level 3 lamp that fires level 3 Dendro damage attacks after every 0.3 seconds and one enemy can become target after 0.7 seconds and has 2.8 seconds duration, 13.5 seconds cooldown and 50 energy cost. If the lamp created by her skill is already on the field, it will be destroyed at the start of the burst and will be recreated after 2.8 seconds when the duration is completed. This recreated lamp will inherit the duration from the destroyed lamp. Just something that was mentioned because you cannot have two lamps at the same time. Oh, and level 3 lamp will not consume any sense. They will only be consumed by the lamp from her skill that can go from level 1 to level 2. In short, her burst is just a barrage of a lot of continuous dendro attacks for a short period of time. Nothing more nothing less. And in my opinion, it's fine. Her skill is already looking really good. And since it's only 50 energy, it's no big deal. Though all of it is subject to change. So be cautious. As for her passive talents, first passive, each time level 2 lamp will consume 2 cents, it will fire an attack that deals 500% of Emily's attack as AoE Dendro damage to opponents. This damage is not considered elemental skill damage. Emily cannot trigger this effect for 30 seconds after triggering Catalyze or Spread. So you can clearly see that they don't want Emily to be used with Electro characters. A little change in pace. Though I am going to release a video where I will let you guys know how Dendro Element ruined the balance of the game and is a missed potential. So stay tuned for that. A 4 passive. When the lamp is on the field, all nearby party members will get 85% pyro resistance against burning damage. And third passive is question mark. I don't know. Though according to my sources in Secret Illuminati Society, I have gathered the information that she will deal even greater damage to enemies that are in burning state. 36% to be precise and decrease the damage of Overload Reaction by 90%. They really, really don't want you to use her with Electro characters. Now before I let you know about what I feel about the character, just a quick tour to her constellations. C1 increases damage of her first passive by 10% and creates an additional scent after every 2.9 seconds if you trigger burning or deal Dendro damage. A good constellation. Not the most broken one, but good enough. C2 When the lamp collects scents, Emily will gain one special stack, which will increase her attack by 18% for 10 seconds for the maximum of 2 stacks. Each stack is counted independently, so it's an extra 36% attack. Great. C3 is her elemental skill level increase. Ordinary, but valuable. C4, burst duration is increased by 2 seconds, and target will also switch in 0.3 seconds. Okay, that's cool enough. I like that. C5 is burst level increase. And then we have a classic C6, I love and hate this at the same time. It's an on-field DPS Emily. Just like your on-field DPS Chiori, or Furina. Looks like this is the thing whales like to enjoy in-game. In short, Emily will get Dendro Infusion on her polearm that cannot be overridden, and she will create some more sense. A toy for whales to enjoy. I think her base kit is fully functional, and she doesn't necessarily need her constellations to function. Now, just by looking at her design, I can safely say that in burning teams, she will be a total annihilation. She will be insanely overpowered. And I know that because whenever we get these types of characters who take advantage of one particular reaction, they tend to be unmatched in their certain niche, which is a plus point. Like Nilo, 
Whether you like her playstyle or not is a different matter, but you cannot deny the fact that within her niche, there is barely anything in the game that can survive her sheer power. Anything which is not immune to Dendro has no chance of coming out alive. Emily would be similar to Nilo. I think anything that can take pyro damage will not have any chance of survival if you will have Emily in your team, though I don't calculate damage, nor do I need to. She will be overpowered because she is designed that way. Otherwise, there is no point in releasing a character who can only be used in a single playstyle and doesn't perform as good, right? So yeah, I think she will be overpowered in her niche, at least as strong as Nilo if not stronger. And her best companion will be Arlecchino. The only flaw I see in this character is that she is not elemental mastery scaling which doesn't make any sense because EM increases burning reaction damage. And she is not making a new form of burning like Nilo's bountiful cores. She is using that reaction to deal massive amount of damage. So she should have been EM scaling, so we could just build her with 3 EM pieces. But if her scaling turns out to be good, then it doesn't really matter. Other than that, I don't think I have anything bad to say about her. She is cute. She looks powerful. Restricted but powerful. And I am up for that. I will get her. Though the design is still a little disappointing, but we can work with that. No big deal. But we can say because she is an attack scaling unit, she is supposed to be used with Bennett. And you use Bennett with Arlecchino anyways. Meaning her best teams will be Arlecchino, Bennett, Emily, and maybe Nahida. Though I would like to use Nahida in a different party and maybe use some other character as a substitute. So I am very happy with her kit to be honest. Hi, I am Muharib's wife, Layla. My husband would be very happy if you leave a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to join our Discord server and he will see you in the comment section. Peace!